Leveling in Black Desert is pain, but after I came back recently, I wanted a goal, so I decided to head straight for level 63. This can take hundreds of hours, this can be very painful, but how hard can it really be? After all, I am the self-proclaimed supreme leader of the Catgirl Republic. Mm. No. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend nothing happened, okay? I recently came back to Black Desert and wanted a goal, so I decided to just go ahead and reach level 63. How hard can it really be? You know, it is just the next level. The answers vary. It doesn't help that I'm not very specifically good at this game. Don't get me wrong, I don't consider myself the worst. I would actually say I'm not even that bad, but neither am I actually good. And the fact that most of my knowledge goes back to several years ago doesn't really help it. Sometimes I feel like a grandpa. I'm not even that old yet, not even close. But Black Desert is a long game, leveling is a long game, and I kinda signed up to it. In fact, getting one level up could take as long as grinding for hundreds of hours, so there's only one way to get through it, and that is by doing it. I could obviously optimize it by looking up guides and looking how I could do better, but that would obviously be boring and kinda like against how I play the game. Or I could just go back to playing Genshin Impact, that game is at least not that grindy. Actually, I'm not sure. I, I, I... But I won't, because I enjoy the game, and I want to enjoy this game, which means maybe I do things not the optimal way, but I do them in a way that is enjoyable for me, that is fun, that is, well, maybe slightly worse. However, I also don't want to spend hundreds of hours trying to get to the next level, so I need to optimize ever so slightly just to not be doing totally horrible. And the one thing I can optimize next to how I do things and buffs is me just getting better gear. Because my gear is bad, it is truly horrible. Back in the day it was quite good, I think, but today it is quite a different story. I didn't finish the Magnus, I didn't do the new story area, and I barely know what crystals do. The fact is, if, if this game is a house, I'm a caveman, and I just came out of the cave, and I basically missed all the new content, but hey, here I am. So to say it in a more poetic way, my gear is a representation of my ignorance, and because I'm ignorant, I refuse to get rid of my tri Blackstar armor. I love that piece of armor, I made it myself, I got it as a random drop. It is simply the best. Some people say, hey, Black Star armor sucks, why are you using it? I say, no, my Black Star armor doesn't suck, you suck. My Black Star is the best, I love my Black Star armor. And while I'm not going to upgrade my gear today, my plan for progression right now is very simple. I'm actually gonna do the Magnus quest. I've been so far postponing it for two weeks, and I can get one piece of pen boss armor, which one I do not know yet, but for sure I know it will not be a chest piece because the Black Star armor piece will not be replaced. I'm also in the process of upgrading my Kutum using the Jatina questline for a guaranteed upgrade to Pen. And then, to top it all off, I will upgrade my beloved Tri Black Star armor hopefully to Pen or Fail. It is gonna be one of the two, and trust me, it's hopefully gonna be the first one because I really want to get it to Pen because I, I, I like it. But that should make my gear quite alright, and make my gear not as bad as it is right now. It would be a decent step up, and maybe it stop my whole guild, um, on that note, my own guild, from joking about the fact that the guild master is the worst guild person in the whole guild. Sure, it might be true, but that's still kinda mean. Anyway, so, with gear out of the way and kinda discussed what I'm gonna do there, I started grinding Elvia. Something I consider a new zone, but apparently no one else does. You see, this is kinda the central point of all my issues here. I have played the game for quite a bit, years ago. My knowledge is old, very old, and what might be new for me isn't new for other people, which means I'm still experiencing the game in a very odd way, where a lot of stuff that seems super new to me is actually stuff that has been in the game for kinda a while now. But that is kinda just what I have to deal with, and I'm totally fine with it, and I'm down for it. And in Elvia, I've been kinda grinding basically forever now, and for that, there's a reason. Each grinding zone in Alvia drops two specific types of pity items, which if you collect 100 of them, you can turn into a better item. There's three types of them in total for, for three different enemy types, and if you have all three, you can craft an item to upgrade your Black Star armor to Obsidian Black Star armor. This is a slight defense upgrade. Also, everyone keeps telling me how Obsidian Black Star armor kinda sounds like something out of Minecraft. I mean, it kinda sounds like something out of Minecraft, doesn't it? But it just makes it cooler. I think it just makes it cooler, doesn't it? But you can also craft some cup that upgrades your accessories, and they are worth like 2 to 5 billion, but who cares about those? If you can have slightly higher defense, that's on my Black Star armor. I love my Black Star armor so much. Call me insane, say my goals are unreasonable. I am, however, not changing them because I love my Black Star armor piece. That will be the real game changer when I get that upgrade, and is also my immediate goal, basically. 
Anyway, I could now add in some grinding footage, but it would be pretty boring, so I'm rather just gonna talk about the fact that this grind is taking me forever. Quite frankly, I actually read somewhere it would take me two days to get to level 63. I also read that it only takes two times the XP to actually get to level 63 compared to level 62. I think that number is wrong, or or they are assuming I'm the fastest grinder ever, but I just simply tagged two characters and checked how much percentage towards level 63 is percentage towards level 62, and the difference is not times two. The difference seems to be more like a factor of times five, because 3% XP just turned into 15% XP. That is kind of not a factor of two, that, that really isn't a factor of two. But maybe that's just me, maybe I'm getting something wrong, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. But I am, however, also leveling up a lot of other characters, which is a very nice side effect and just happening in the background. But it really isn't very fast after all. After all the XP scrolls, tent buff and food buffs, I end up getting about 2% XP per hour at Biragis then. That is the main place I'm grinding it. Is this good? Is this bad? I genuinely don't know. You, you can kind of tell me. The thing is, there's many, many grind spots in this game. Group grind spots, grind spots that are good for money and grind spots that are good for XP. Grind spots apparently are bipolar, however, and are either good for money or good for XP. So I chose something that is in the middle. But I also tried a two-player zone solo. That was right next to Biragi then. All times, that was significantly harder. I enjoyed it, however, although it arguably went slightly wrong, costing me 800 million crystals after dying. But it was an experience, and I think that is what really matters. And I want to try more spots, that is what I really want the better gear for. But all I know is that I will keep doing what I'm doing until I can do something else, and I'm not going to let myself be told that what I'm doing is wrong. Actually, I will let myself be told that what I'm doing is wrong. Because doing it wrong is the point, but I'm kind of willing to improve here, I'm very desperate. Like I already said, I enjoy the game for what it is, and I want to enjoy the game, not turn it into an optimization labyrinth. So I will be fine doing things slightly suboptimal. Maybe it is not perfect, but it is my way, and I enjoy doing it my way. And I will hit level 63 exactly that way. But this is just the first part in essentially a two-part series, and I hope to documentate my experience and what essentially for me is the first real grind in this game. And the first big challenge since I came back to it. And so far I got 21% progress to this. Maybe it is not a lot, but for a few days of grinding it sounds totally okay to me. The real question is, what do I do going forward? I think the most important part is upgrading my gear and playing classes I enjoy. I'm right now playing a tamer. I love tamer. I enjoy tamer the most out of all classes i played so far. Maybe I have a very narrow view on the world. Maybe I just haven't played other classes enough. Maybe I've just played tamer too much. But I'm also tempted to try my LAN again. And I may end up doing that very soon for some grinding too. The very soon being tomorrow. But I thoroughly believe that gear will still take priority here. And that is what I will focus on. And most likely also silver. And I will most likely make a separate video exactly for that when I actually do upgrade my gear. To show just how painful my experience is. Maybe it won't be painful, but I don't want to take bets or jinx it by saying it will be good beforehand. Only time will kinda tell what will actually be the case. But anyway, yeah, this was kinda the whole video already. And I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, subscribe and check out my other videos. Also, a big shout out to my Patreon and channel supporters. See you next time.